Just hold it up. I, I have a controller now. Yes. Uh, oh, what? Uh, uh, uh. No, it's a monster. Like, I think that's just... That's probably just telling me that there's going to be things popping out of the wall. There's going to be a worm man as well. Or worman, if you prefer. All right. Now, ho fortunately, this will refill your health. Or it should. It does not Dead Space 2. You ready for this thing? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have even more, like, thingies on me. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. Get your actual inventory space. <gasps> you... You just get more. Alfred, I'm so excited. I know, right? Ah! Isn't it useful? Do you feel like I'm faster when I use the computer, or was I just slower because I wasn't healed right? Isaac, make us whole again. Shut up, blonde lady. Um, I don't know. I feel like it would definitely... Because I just wanted you to switch over to controller because I realized that, like, it's a little clunky. No, no. A nod. Before you. Yeah, take that, original Xbox. <laughs> oh, Sarah just found out that the Xbox 360 isn't the original one. Yeah, so... It was just this weird gap in her knowledge. So you put two duds and then you get HP. Why not start here? Oh, I can, because I can already got it. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was I saying? Uh, you were talking about um, the way that you like to play. And then if you want to just save these nodes uh, for any doors we come across, that's fine. You could also try to push the plasma cutter a little further. Uh, you were talking about how you want to play a certain way and how you do really like the plasma cutter. Uh, so, you know. Um, I don't think I'm a stubborn person, but sometimes I... That's what fills your health. Now look at you, look. Nice. Hell yeah. So that's why that's why I said, like, health upgrades are worth the three nodes that it takes to get. Because you uh, get that. Isn't that great? Yeah. That feels good. Um, yeah, what I was going to say is I don't think I'm a stubborn person, but obviously, like, if a certain way of playing works for me, I'm, uh, maybe it's not obvious, but, um... What am I trying to say? This is mutiny. You'll all be tried for mutiny. The kind. Make them listen to reason. Settle down, then. Simmer oh. down. By maritime law, you can push the elevator button if you like. <laughs> I hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. The mark <laughs> must be delivered duty. to the church. Terence, please. I'm sorry, Ben, but I can't let you do this. Take him back out in the stomp. Heretic! Hold his head. Murderer! Hold him! Was there a quicker way to do that, man? They were probably trying to inject him with something, but it just ended up in his eye because... No, it was an accident. Dead Space has an uh, obsession with eyeballs. That's awful for you. Yeah. It is awful for me. I barely made it through Dead Space 2. Um, what I was trying to say. Ways that you like to play. I, you know, there's certain ways I like to play, and I get caught up in, oh, I should do this, because in Resident Evil, you're supposed to do this. But it really serves you well to kind of, like, listen to people who've played the game before and not always think that, um I don't know. Trust the opinions of people who have played the game before you. And like even if they're wrong and like that's not the style you want to play in, at least you learned what you don't like. Yeah. Um I mean cuz it serves you no good just to get caught up in your ways because then you know you don't learn and Yeah. Um so and and Sarah mentions this because she recently made a complete turnaround and is totally fine. Oh, yeah. Is totally fine with playing this game just with the plasma cutter now? Because originally she was like, no, I'm going to need more absolutely weapons. Absolutely not. She, she literally says, not in my current state, absolutely not. But now, like, and I was like, ah, okay, but the plasma cutter's yeah! really good. Get out of here! Sorry. Great shot. Bad shot. 
So how's those damage upgrades doing for That's you? That's pretty good. You use the same amount of ammo that you would have if uh, you hadn't upgraded that thing, but also you missed a shot. So you can now do those in two, one for each limb. Talking about your use of the uh, plasma cutter? Yeah, because, like, obviously I can be like, oh, I don't feel like that's going to work, but, you know, it's good to just kind of, like, like try things when it comes to styles of video gaming. Because um, kind of I, I feel like a lot of um, video game veterans can be kind of... How should I say this? Stubborn. Stubborn. And I try to prevent myself from doing that because that's not really fun for the people you're playing with. So, I don't know if you heard what Kendra said. She said, watch for gravity abnormalities. <laughs> that's fun. And in case you weren't listening... Can they, I just step around it? You. Yeah, you can walk around it. And in fact, you have to. Good. Uh, you did, but I think you picked it up when you walked by them. Uh, I'm sorry, where was I? We were just talking about um, gamers who get set in their ways, video game veterans who are like, this is the way to play. Well, I mean, games, are, the games are for fun. Yeah. And, I mean, I've been a, I've, I've done it too. I'm like, this is the one game. But, like, dude, if someone's having fun, let them, let them learn. Let them be bad for a little bit. Let them be bad for the entire time. Who cares? Yeah. Oh, shit me. Uh, uh, A. A? A. Which one's A on a PS4 controller? I don't know anymore. It's X. Listen to your muscle memory. Aw, oh, fuck you. You have enough. Oh, you? Good. Oh, there he goes. One more. One more. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, my friends. the hell is he doing? There we go. Um. You're getting a lot of line rack ammo if you're uh, interested in trying some more of that. Sure. As well as ripper blades. So anyway, um, I think you should really only... I mean, you should encourage people to play a way that's going to grant them more success, but... Um, you're full on stasis. If they're having fun, then... Just let it go, man. Let people enjoy things. I don't know what made me so uh, upset about that recently. Um... I'm trying to think. Oh, I know what it was. One of our friends kind of gets bullied sometimes because he's, like, really sweet. And, uh... Make some distance and turn and shoot. Ah, he's back. What is he, a regular enemy now? Yeah, that's just a brute. They're just regular enemies now. This was a bad idea. Or was it? Can I get in here? Oh. What? Will he not come over here? He's, uh... Either his AI's locked up or he's scared. That was stasis. That was stasis? Yeah. Okay, so triangle doesn't do anything, by the way. Uh, it's inventory. Well, Mr. Monster, I'm here to put guns. There he is. Uh, uh. Good. And you can get the limbs. So, actually, you mentioned how this game doesn't do the big, giant, obvious. Switch the Ripper. Left on the D-pad. Uh, 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 uh. Rip him. Yeah. It's just like using the knife on a downed enemy. Sorry. That's fine. The second one was a little greedy, but you did good. Might might do you well to heal. I don't have heal. You, you picked one up. There you go, see? Thank you, Alfred. Hop onto the D-pad. Switch black to the cutter. You're good. Sorry! Swear to reload it. Or no. some the, the reload button, which is not square. A. It's A. Okay. Little chickeny right here. Sorry. That's okay. I, uh... For those of you who have played Dead Space 2, I just got to the area where you have to fight a bunch of, um... Stasis? Yeah, good, good! Aim a little up. Okay. 
Wow. Great job. Thank you. So, line gun, right? Line gun was good, but that was a whole clip of line gun ammo as opposed to one ripper blade. Yeah. So the ripper, use it like the knife, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, an enemy is stunned, get in there. Hey, a par node, nice. That is great. That's great, in fact. Uh, you can probably stasis that, which is what all the stasis refills mm -hmm. are for. And then walk past it carefully. Uh, uh, uh. That's okay. You got a little more time than you think. Did I do it? Yep. Thank you for believing in me. In the very first episode, we I tell you to pick normal mode, and you're like, you have a lot of faith in me. I'm like, I know you can do it. I don't know if I said that then, but that's the truth. I know that she can do it. Thank you, Alfred. Naturally. Um, but, yeah, one of my friends kind of gets bullied for, like... This is Robert. Robert, we love you. Everything. Say it too. Online. And... Sarah, say it too. What? Robert, oh, we, we love, love you. you. We love you. <laughs> uh, he beat Metroid Dread. Robert is the biggest Metroid fan I know. Uh, and he blew through Metroid Dread in like a day or two, and then went back and then blew through it again in another day. Um, cause like Metroid games aren't actually long. I think people think they are because they get stuck in Metroid games, but. I'm sorry. I, I, I keep pressing that button. I know it's kind of annoying. I, uh, can't really, s uh, I'm having trouble seeing the blue line for some actually, reason. Actually turn around and pop the stasis refill. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Just in case you need it. But I interrupted you. Sorry. That's fine. Hey, bootlicker. Hold on. Ah? Oh, hit the right stick. Hey, bootlickers, this is the only thin blue line that matters. All right, my joke's over. Can you tell he's been playing other worlds recently? <laughs> don't! Don't step in that! <laughs> what the hell was I doing? You're just walking back. Oh, goodies. Goodies. Um... Robert gets bullied, okay? He gets he gets fucking bullied for everything. People are like, oh, bad taste in blank. Or like, uh, one of our friends back in high school was like constantly on him for like playing games badly. And like, first of all, he's great at video games. Yeah. Second of all, everyone has their thing. You know, if you're a video gamer, everyone has their thing. Third of all, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It's a game. Have fun. Yeah. Did it perfectly forwards, but backwards you entered into some problems. Um. Anyway, so my man's blows through Metroid Dread in like a day or two and then and blows like, through it again. Because like, awesome. fuck, Metroid that, Dread's great. That's not an easy game either. Yeah, Metroid's kind of hard. Um, I would say that Fusion and Dread are harder than most of them as well. I mean, the Prime Trilogy is... Yeah! <laughs> Get him! My apologies. You're still full from the last time we got one of those. I know, I'm panicking, sorry. All right, open the door and be ready to shoot. Hello. Good. Thanks. Anyway, so what? Are we, are we? Yeah, are we're good. We're going, okay, cool, sorry. <laughs> we wanted to fix the audio. Um, I didn't pause that, they heard all that. Oh. Okay, cool. I just, I just did it live. It was a small fix. I just turned the, uh, the game to. Oh, that uh, looks good. Game sound down. You a know, bit. you've become really, really good at, um, you know, just doing your audio well. I know it's like it does not look easy, so. It's really not. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the thing because I think it's cool. This game has chapters with names. All right. Mm-hmm. Every and three does this as well, and some of the DLCs do too. Every first letter of every chapter spells out a message <gasps> oh cool yeah no i would never would have gotten that so yeah i mean maybe i i do really like um puzzles and riddles and stuff but something yeah. so obscure probably not yeah you know, that's how you could tell this was like a a, a project of passion for a De lot of definitely people. definitely there's so much clever stuff like in that. here i mean um that's how i I've been going so back and forth on Cry of Fear. I know this is random, but the amount of passion they put in it kind of... It's endearing. It's endearing. And, like, while I think it's clunky and clunky in not good ways, like how Silent 2 is clunky in good ways. 
Yeah, the thing about Silent Hill 2 is that it totally nails the vibe of, like, I'm a schlub who doesn't know how to fight trying to survive in a town full of monsters. Sure. Uh, and, like, James sucks. He's supposed to. Sorry. Don't panic. Right. Thank you. Good, great. Sounds like you've got some more incomings. Great. Not great. Good, good. So with these guys, don't overshoot them, don't undershoot them. What does that mean? Uh, a couple of times you've shot over their heads or under their uh, arms. Sure. Turn around, get the ripper out. Get it, and then walk towards him. There you go. Perfect, perfect, yes! That's proper ripper use. Thanks. That's how you do it. Just gonna refill my guns. And do it quickly, quickly, quickly. What the hell? Hey, hey. I was on base. <laughs> That's out. That's out. Sorry. Ugh. Sir, I'll be with you in just a moment. Let me reload this. When you reload the line gun in Dead Space 2, it makes a very good... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, wow. He's He's got a stance, man. Yeah. Those things are freaks. Where do they get all the spine no from? No bullying on the Ishimura. Ow. Arby? Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, there you go. See? One ammo, no damage taken. That's proper Ripper use, right? That That is a textbook use of the Ripper. Um, when the Ripper is a little more upgraded, or uh, in two, when there's a lot of enemies with low health, you can go through like five or six of them with one Ripper blade. And like, that is astounding. The fact that you can get one piece of ammo and go through six guys with it is really, really good. I guess he can't. You can try throwing him too. But they might How have put a little again? RT. Oh, 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 come on. Oh. oh. Okay, guys. Alfred. <laughs> Just saw the little piece <laughs> off. There we go. He's down. He's down. <laughs> That's worth it. 